cotton mouth or two. Snake. Oh, oh. is up um this weekend or i guess this episode um we're gonna go to columbus mississippi i kind of grew up there a little bit for a couple of years doing the market street festival so that'll be good this is gonna be interesting because i got tore up by the kinkajou last night and uh before I even explain this, let me show you what that is. What do you think? Penny. Jeez Louise. Oh, don't fall. Where are you going, Penny? Hmm? Oh. Come here. Hey, that's my camera. You can't be eating on my camera. Yeah, you can't chew on my camera. Can't chew on that charger, neither. I see you thinking about it. Yeah, okay. So, that is a kinkajou. I've been babysitting it for a couple of weeks. I think I got like a week or two more. But, you know, last night, she came up on me and... She sent both of her, uh, well, not both. I think like all four of her canines through my finger and would not let go for like a minute. And then, you know, she took a pretty good chomp out of this little finger and this section right here. So don't ever forget that these animals are wild. Like these are wild animals, they're not domesticated animals. So sometimes they, their minds will change, like just quick. There's nothing you can really do about it, except for just kind of deal with it and uh, not hurt the animal. So I just had to let her chew on my finger, not chew on it, but you know, keep her teeth in it until she would let go. I'll be less mobile because my hands, you know, this weekend. So definitely gonna be a little bit more sketched out. Uh, Definitely gonna need a lot of help from like Davis and stuff with handling, so it's gonna be interesting, especially with the uh, new covers we're bringing out. So that'll be great, that'll be really fun. I gotta go get this all rebandaged and cleaned out again before I leave. Um, after that, we're going to put all the snakes and everything in their containers. Um, I'm gonna show you the trailer and everything like that and we're gonna vlog all the way all the way to columbus you know do that whole thing this weekend vlog we're probably gonna go snake hunting or something i don't know maybe that'll be a separate video like going harping or something i don't know i haven't made my mind up so basically i got all the little stuff now i'm gonna get the uh big stuff davis is gonna be my little cameraman for right now um Get this back real quick. Thanks, this copperhead. But right now we're gonna get out Jafar, the big monocle cobra. Let's see. Yeah, he's hiding up in there. All right, got my long hook. Just gonna get this door open a little bit. Now, try to listen to how, how loud he is. He'll make a noise. Here we go. Here you are. Hey, Jafar. What's up, buddy? Come here. Come here. They never 
is. All right, so this is the Egyptian cobra. He's going to go with us this weekend. He's uh, just a tad bit over four foot. He's got his light off and everything because we're shutting down the room. But it's about how long he is. He doesn't really hood up too terribly much, and I don't really want to get him riled up right now because we're trying to make this quick and painless as possible. Look at that. Easy. Peasy. I think that was the easiest <laughs> cover we've ever done. I was about to say, it's never like that. So Davis is going to get the tape. Basically, we're going to tape up all the venomous while we're transporting them and everything. Just in case. Because you never know what's going to happen. Take this one up and see you in a little bit. All right, well, away to uh, Columbus we go. So, I think it's two and a half hours. What would you say? Two and a half hours? Columbus? Oh, yeah, I think. Absolutely, two and a half hours. Half. So, here we go. We got the Kinkajou, the little devil. And, um, <laughs> Probably <coughs> like 20 or 30 highly venomous snakes. So, wish us luck and anybody in our way. So, see you in a little bit. All right, so today is Saturday. We got my boy Daniel here. We got Davis here also. We got this trailer filled up. We also got some covers this time. Even Jafar, the big monocle, this is his first show. So, can't really even see him. During glare. Yeah. Oh, there he is. So it's about lunchtime. Um, we got all the snakes in here and everything. Business is going good. A lot of good traffic out here at the Market Free Festival. We're kind of in a corner. So there's a lot of people. There's a car show, all sorts of stuff. Davis has this little corn snake out, so he's showing people, trying to get hey, people baby. around. She is so cute. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of people got in a hold of that snake. So if you ever do come see us at an X show, I probably have more snakes than we can hold. Daniel, what do you think? I think it's going good today, guys. I really do, too. And it's not raining, and it's not cold, and it's not windy, it's just I, nice. I know. It's supposed to be raining and cold all day. But we're we're good, so. We got the fire department here. Just in case uh, we get bit. They or can, get set on fire. Yeah. That's just real quick, that's so what we can we were, show. That's what we were walking all over today. Just not that, that not that kind of snake. Perfectly hidden. That was a huge, perfectly hidden. Not a huge, but that's a decent size diamondback rattlesnake. Just perfectly curled up in the pine. Well, it's about six o'clock. We just finished up Market Street. We kind of pulled off to the side over here. And we are currently waiting on the last few steps of paperwork to get back to us. And then uh, we'll head out to this guy's little property right here so we can go herping tomorrow. Dave is going to go with us and everything. You caught a black, black racer, racer last time. Yeah. What, then you caught now? a fish. Yeah. So hey, it'll be fine. Hey, hey. So it wasn't even hey. in a body of water I caught that fish. Hey, I That's caught, more, under a piece I of caught tea. more fish that day. All right. Let's just be honest. Whatever just floats your boat. I smelled like you I caught, caught more fish. I caught four fish. and y'all caught one each. You I caught four. smelled like you caught a lot more fish than us. Is that ever a bad thing, Daniel? Yes. 
completely a bad thing. Um, but yeah, we had a good turnout today. I think it was better than any show we've done so far. There's a snake beside you. Watch out. Ooh! Thank you, Market Street, right? Thank you, Market Street. We, we gonna you, see. Columbus. Yeah, we gonna see. We have yeah, we haven't added everything up, but uh it was really fun. Met a lot of cool people today in Market Street, saw some old friends. You know, I used to live here. He still does. He's never lived here. Nope. But, you know, he knows a lot of people here, so do I. We got to talk to a lot of old friends. So it was good. Good to see everybody. Well, we're out here kind of night herping, you know, as I'm probably showing you. But, um, yeah, it's sunset. We're over here at a lake. We found one cotton mouse so far. We didn't even get to take a picture of it because we saw it for, like, what? Two seconds, if you know Ish. It slithered away. Yeah. So, we've seen <laughs> a little mouse. A couple spots where, like, alligators and stuff have actually rabbits. came up. And, like, you know, alligator slides and stuff like that. Rabbits. So, we have saw rabbits, too. What else are we seen? Crawfish, dead crawfish, dead deer. All sorts of stuff. Just all sorts of stuff. So Beaver out here. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to make a really good day for herping. So make sure you stay tuned. Hopefully it makes a good day for herping. If not, we're still going to have fun. Let me get that. Look at that. Beautiful. So beautiful. What is he doing? He's taking pictures. Like oh, okay. okay. Wow, that's nice. Send that to me. I will. Davis getting the freaking artwork. Oh, she get that tattooed. That would be freaking. I'm gonna be the one. Got it. Had to avoid getting the boots wet. You just want me to act like I fall? No. We want you to actually fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are all packed up and ready. What are we gonna find? Snakes! Blackberries, my prediction. Blackberries and snakes. And nakes. Blackberries and nakes. So, we we're about snakes. to do this for all day long, get sunburnt even more. Get home late. Mm hmm. But we're gonna catch some. Yeah. And we're gonna give y'all some education. There's a bird nest in there. Hmm. I'm not sticking my hand in there. Nope. Oh, that's where we found it. Perfect. Perfect. Indeed. That's where it was. Just looking up under just some little stuff too. For like decay snakes. Yeah. All sorts of stain nests and stuff like that. I'm not scared whatever's under here, if there is anything. <sighs> so we're looking at Daniel's backyard. Hopefully we can find like a decays or maybe some just garter snakes and stuff like that. Maybe some racers and stuff. We've seen a cotton mouth or two. Snake. Ooh, ooh. Yellow belly. Look at that. Plain belly wa uh, oof, water snake. Well, look at that. How are you going to react? I would not do that. Did you say my yard? Yeah. Well, that's why we were in your yard looking well, for snakes. Saying, like, I, like, out here. Look at it. Oh, gosh. Like, I come out here all the time and I don't see snakes. And he just happens to stroll, scroll across. He's just laying out here in the sun. But I'm just, I, like, what I'm saying is I never see them. I see more snakes than something out here. It was right there at my house. So I guess we sure just a, need a snake closer to the I'm house. Sure it was a black racer. We've thought. literally been walking for like a mile, mile and a half. Just got back. That way. We saw one cottonmouth like the first five or ten minutes in. 
Then we just found this one when we got back. And I guess he's making TikToks. No pictures. Oh, no, no TikTok yet. No, not yet, not yet. You also go look at his TikToks because he has a lot of stuff on like native steaks and native education. We caught a black racer out here a few weeks ago. We sure did. So this is the snake, the second All right, snake TikTok. from this second property. Snake of the year so I'm gonna let us do his TikTok thing. But yeah, this is really close to a house. It's just a backyard. They can be anywhere, so. Just keep your eyes open, they're out and about. It could have easily been a water moccasin, but just, you know, if you see it, safest thing to do is just to leave it alone. <sighs> this is probably where he came from. They'll eat tadpoles and little minnows and all sorts of stuff. But they're harmless. They eat frogs and tadpoles and fish and all sorts of stuff like that. They don't do any real harm. They also eat rodents and stuff like that when they can find it. Um, I've even heard of some eating crawfish and all sorts of stuff. So they're pretty harmless. They don't get too big. Uh, they do have a nasty little bite, no venom, just a lot of bacteria. So if you do get bit, just clean it out and you should be good. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. We're just trying to be chill here. You throw up some tap holes? What'd he throw up? I don't know, where'd it go? We're gonna find out where it went. He went to slinging it. I imagine he came from that little little water waterway thing over there. We went over there this morning. But anyways, we're gonna let this little guy go free. We're probably gonna take him back over there to that little creek. Right here at my house. Right here at his house. We're gonna keep it around his house. It's a good snake. But, yep. Plain bellied water snake. Mm -hmm. Show that belly for us. The color of it, how that contrasts between a water moccasin. Super bright. Mm -hmm. And this one is a little bit darker. I'd probably say it's going to go in a shed here soon. It's also dirty. Yeah. And it's a little bit underweight. Yeah. She's a little hollow, which I feel bad because she threw up her meal, whatever she just ate. But, you know, there are abundance of abundance. meals out here, dude. I, got I mean, plenty of frogs out here. I cannot explain to y'all how many rodents we saw just walking around yesterday. I mean, I probably saw not just rats. that. Couple like moles, rats, mice, mice rats, rats. rats. There meese, rabbits. moose, get deer, rabbits. <laughs> Big rabbits. I mean, there is so Foxes. much wildlife out here. It is insane. Well, we've only caught like one so far, so that's probably all we're gonna catch. So. We gotta get it on the road back home, yep. back towards Memphis and everything. Well, not Memphis, but pretty close to Memphis. To the county. Yeah, DeSoda. So, I think we may call it here. We may do a little bit more herping, but we're probably gonna call it here and I will see you on the way home.